Just before we get going with the video, lads, we've made a YouTube. It's gonna be available for pre-order on St. Patrick's Day, the 17th of March. These figures are making the rounds these days, and there was some interest in one from myself. So we went ahead and did it. I got to design it myself, but it was a really cool process. It's me and my suit because it's the only outfit I seem to own, and I've got a Meteor and a Wii Remote. And the packaging looks fucking amazing. We got it to match the channel's galaxy theme. If you're interested in getting one for yourself, pre-orders for it will open on the 17th of March. It's gonna be a limited edition run because that's how U2s operate. Uh, once this is sold out, it will never be available again. So if you want one, you need to check back on the U2 site on the 17th. I'm also running two giveaways for a chance to win a figure on both my Twitter and my Instagram. And there's links to both of those in the description below. We are giving everyone a single type of block at a time, and we're gonna ask you all to coordinate. Uh, so, you might get cobble, you might get dirt, you might be the guy who's on fence duty. So as you can see, everyone's head has been replaced by the block they have. So you can actually quite quickly work out who's got what on the server. There's dirt man. This guy's got half wood planks. <laughs> Looks like he has a scarf or something. This guy's just iron. This is the lantern guy. The challenge is to see, can people make something interesting? It's probably going to be a bit of a colorful mess. Uh, some people who have already started work and like have a sort of foundation. You know, you have your terracotta floors and you have like a wooden frame. Like, I mean, these guys are trying. <laughs> <laughs> with the blocks they have. People are just contributing everything they can to the build too. Like, yeah, let's just add some like oak, like some netherrack fence finish. James is just going off with the TNT here. If someone else has redstone, that could end quite badly, honestly. We're following this one build right now because it's the most fascinating structure, I think, on the server. I don't know what it's supposed to be. Uh, it's got both a cross and like a Waluigi satanic cross. Uh, we have work on some kind of new structure here. Blast Furnace guy is like getting to work. Someone could, God love it, someone can only place like the Bruin stands, like that's it. One man's job in this build is just attention to detail. I feel like I'm watching a colony of ants. Most of us do. Uh, like, <laughs> people are just making do with the blocks they have. Oh God, someone got fucking torches. They're everywhere. Let's, let's, let's look at like the party house. Let's like see how that's coming along. You got all your storage and enchanting needs. I mean, it kind of looks nice on the inside, apart from the fact where they've sealed off the upper floors and you can't go upstairs. I like how the entire road network is now covered in pressure plates too. <laughs> okay. The road suddenly makes a lot more noise when you walk along it. I feel like there's layers to this road too. Uh, we seem to have a bit of a volcano going here, but uh, it's like an electrical volcano with lanterns. Like, I, I'm i not even sure what's going on. We have- Oh, we have a beehive that's leaking honey! That's actually very sweet. And then like, Ender Chest guy made the rounds here too and left his mark. Someone made a snowman, oh my god. Uh, someone just went all out with the snow and they've just added like decorative blocks past that. I love that idea where if you just get even like one or two, well if you even get like two people sticking to the theme, other people can just kind of recognize at a glance and like see what they're going for. Like I imagine someone just built the snow here, kind of arranged it and then someone either built the scarf or like did in the ice. And then like bam, snowman. Someone else saw it and they were like, yeah I have like the orange block and I have orange glass paint. So you're all gonna contribute. It's actually really, that's quite impressive, honestly. Okay, door guy. Oh, um, door guy, I think is upset. Oh God, yeah, so like someone, someone's just built this and now this guy has a different kind of cracked stone brick. And look, he's just adding details. Like he's swapping it out to try and make it look nicer. It's actually a cool like level of coordination. So like just one guy started with a base and then this guy's gonna improve on it. The oh, we have someone with the bone block who actually made a fossil. And then someone else came in here with like this uh, glass. It's quite cool what people are already doing. Yeah, like, the process does seem to be someone builds one thing, someone else improves in that design, and then people have an idea of what the general design is supposed to be. Okay, we have a little clubhouse over here. There's like four like builders. Oh, on this end. How's it going, guys? Uh, someone has the mushroom block, too, so uh, they're setting up the mountain so it looks a bit different terrain-wise. Oh, they've started work on golden giant sands, haven't they? 
I'd recognize those eyes anywhere. Look, someone else added onto the beehive with like orange carpet. Now it, look, like, it looks a bit more textured. This is probably the nicest thing because, because uh, well, it was. Uh, but then they, they, I think they, they just kept expanding on it. <laughs> like, like there's so much just shit connected onto this, what was like quite a nice home before. The mushroom tree is kind of good with the rocks here. I like the look of that. The T-Rex. <laughs> oh my god. The T-Rex, like, this, this, this T-Rex has, like, full-on anatomy now. It's actually come to life. This started with a skeleton, and someone else has made it, like, a living thing. There's a, a guy with just... <laughs> literally just enchanting books. <laughs> all, all he has is books. Guys, I know Butter Sands is over there. I just don't want to bring too much attention to him, okay? I know he's over there. We don't... <laughs> We gotta stop spending time on sands. This house on the hill actually looks very cool. Like, there's just, there's just like a small group of people here. Doing their best. Like, with what they've got. And then this fucking alchemy stand guy who's like, found new purpose. This road has changed like, seven times, I feel. Glowstone guy is now on the scene, too. He's like, adding his touch. Oh, good god. Flowerpot guy is like... <laughs> you can't even walk here anymore. Trek now is teach, which I really don't like. The snowman just keeps getting more and more detailed too. I feel like every time we come back and look at this guy, like there's been some sort of change. Like he's got like a huge top hat now. He's got like different texture for the snow too. Oh, it's fuck it. Why is it always lost? It's, the sea is close today. Can you can you even get down? They've redid the bottom of here, too. When the terracotta guys came around. It's like... What are you even trying to do with that build? Oh, the pig's looking kind of dapper. No, his eyes have been impaled. Okay. Oh my god, yeah, the volcano's really taken off. People have been adding loads of detail to this. Oh god, it's like the world's just kind of casually getting destroyed now. What is this supposed to be? What? The end. Okay, well, welcome back to the world. Um, it's saved. It's just in the pocket dimension now. Uh, it'll be okay. I, w I want people to try and like work together just in this space and build like a cool home or something. I'm gonna remove all this wood once we get a bit of foundation going. Can like enough monkeys, fashion typewriters, produce Shakespeare? It's essentially what we're seeing. Okay, there's, this looks like something so far. <laughs> I don't... They put a smiley face in the house, but that's okay. It's like a fever dream of a hotel. You go, you go in the front door. Here's the second front door. It's a fucking layer cake right now. The campfire left. <laughs> like, this wall is literally on fire. Like, that... Ah, that's not safe at all. Especially when you consider there's, like, the ice floor in here. You can't apply heat near that. I love how, like, immediate it is, too. Like, you just, like, hop on the server. This is the first thing you're greeted with, like a game and tips sign. RT's new house tour came out early. Yeah, this is my new place, guys. I don't like the layer of smoke from the campfires. Like, it looks like the building's on fire. Can't get down anymore. Like, if you're on one of the upper levels, like, you're, you're screwed. I think it's also slightly becoming lopsided, too, as time goes on. How do you even sell this house to someone? There's the room where, like, the LSD kicks in. And here's where it really kicks in. This room, th that, this floor isn't even accessible. That, this is a fake floor here too. Here's the pumpkin level, and then the stairs just end. RT Cam Incorporated. I've got some monster of a bionicle, Waluigi. <laughs> Everything's on fire. This bit here is looking kind of cool. Like again, I have no idea what it's supposed to be. And it doesn't have any function at all because the inside of the house is missing here. Okay. Like, how do you navigate this home? Like, I've fallen down into a different story here. Skipped a story, and now I'm walking on lecterns and there's signs that say stair. It's chugging real bad. It's chugging real bad. <laughs> there's so much going on. If we just took these two floors and removed them from the rest of the build, that looks nice. This is like the good part of the sandwich, but everything else is just like stuffed in. Yo, this this is like your burger. And then you start going up and it's a layer of onion. 
and a layer of onion, and a layer of onion, and a layer of onion. Like, a single jalapeno, a layer of onion, four buns, a piece of lettuce, another bun. <laughs> and you can't fit it in your mouth come the end. Some people have gravitated a bit away. We have, like, the spire has become, like, a radio tower. Uh, we have an upside-down cross, uh, for good measure, too. You know, we endorse, we're accepting of all religions on the stream, including the ones that worship Satan. What do we do to make this look nice? <laughs> not to, not to insult what people have made, which is great. What do we do to make this look nice, though? <laughs> I love how it just becomes, like, less of a building over time and more of, like, a weird art installation. When you move it in. Yeah, I, j I just moved again, but, uh, like... I think I'm gonna have to make an early departure. Like, this this place just came on the market and it's too good. People are building, like, a different set of stairs that reconnects with the tower, too. I was just like a- this is like a joint operation between, like, four people and they've got the pattern down. How have they done this? I would live there. Where, where's your- what's your favorite bit of this, like, amalgamation? You wanna live next to, like, the Bionicle Waluigi? The pink? The sandwich? Or just in the DNA bit? People have boxed in the spawn, too, so you can't get to, like, the outside world. Why have you even done this? It's just becoming a hellscape. Now you have to navigate your way through the tower. Yo, what is this Hasbro Hotel look at ass hotel, bro? God, it's chugging real bad. Uh, like, like, even, now when you enter the spawn, too. It's like... This is hell. Like, oh god, I'm gonna die here.